have you test drove the new booty yes i'm in your business <laughs> you in my business oh don't do that don't do that <laughs> Welcome back to another video for today's video we are gonna get into my three month post-op q a three month post-op i can't believe it's been three months already like it went so fast and y'all like oh my god it's been three months i'm like yes girl three months so and y'all always ask me like questions on my bbl i feel like i answer a few of the questions that are repeatedly asked in my vlogs and stuff because now this is a lifestyle change like having a bbo is definitely a lifestyle change like everything is so different obviously um you're uncomfortable uh, 24 7 like it's crazy okay everybody wants to get a bbo but little do they know you gotta wear your five house foams abort all that even to this day i'm in my abort right now foams right now compressing like i don't play but anyways, we're going to get to all that. So yeah, if you're new here, hey girl, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, girl. Become a girl, okay? A girl with a W. <laughs> oh so yeah, let's just hop right into the Q&A. So anyways, y'all, so before we even get started into this video, I know you see the drip on my wrist. I know you see it. I know you do because everybody always asks me about my arm candy my watch my watch is definitely something that I love and it doesn't matter how much something costs if it looks expensive and cute I'm gonna wear it and that's just period and my watch is from JBW watches and talk about ice me out baby talk about ice me out period so this watch is from jbw watch this is the jbw crystal 28 it's from their frosted collection this has 12 12 real diamonds baby ice me out ice me out literally though people always ask me where's my watch from like in public they're like what is that I'm like damn you icy i'm like i know <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I don't say I know. But you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Watch has 12 real diamonds and over a thousand Swarovski crystals. So, y'all, this is like going to be dancing all over the place from all angles. You know, when you're in a club and you got your phone out and like, you know. <laughs> and you know, at nighttime, I love when diamonds dance the most. Like, my diamonds be hitting, especially on my watch. So, yeah, you'll be able to get this on JBW Watches right now. It's available. So, hurry up and go get it before I sell out because y'all be on it. And I just want y'all to be able to get y'all hands on this, especially for the holidays. It's the perfect, perfect, perfect gift to give somebody, especially, you know, ice somebody out for an affordable price. And that's just period. This watch looks so good. And you'll be able to use Kyra 30 for $30 off. Don't forget to click the link in the description box to get all the inside scoop on all the weekly deals happening on JBW.com all month long. So you don't want to miss out. And I want you guys to go get this watch and let me know. Tag me. Tag me on your eye style drip. Meow. Okay, period. And it looks so good. Like you can accept. I love to stack my jewelry and I love to stack on my watch, especially this one. So yeah, it goes, it makes the outfit and that's just period. It makes the outfit. It's a statement piece on your wrist. Like you cannot go wrong. You just cannot. So like I said, you can use Kyra 30 for 30% off and do not forget to click the link in the description box below to get all the inside scoop on what's happening all month long. So anyway, so let's hop right into the questions. Like I said, y'all asked a plenty of questions plenty and now was the time to ask because this is the video okay so i'm just gonna go through them and answer the ones that i think is relevant so does sex hit different now lol <laughs> that's literally the first question y'all like i'm literally at the bottom that's so funny um I only had sex with one person so far, um, but he was scared to, uh, you know, touch me, especially from, like, you know, the big. But, no, it doesn't, it's, 
well from the back i should say it does but i mean and i guess from him gripping it too <laughs> like you know like you know um but yeah i think it does hit different i think i just want to be more passionate and grabbed on and felt on especially because my body is like uh like especially my stomach is just more um i like it to be rubbed on so just rub on me you know all that okay we don't need to go into detail um but yeah it, it hits a little different um but yeah i ain't mad at it what was the hardest part after surgery? The hardest part was probably being in my faja and my faja compressing my coochie. Because these fajas are have like an opening and it's just like your the this is the hole of the faja and then this is your crotch. Like it's like literally squeezing it. That's probably the hardest thing, honestly. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And um, what was the other thing? It's literally oh, in the massages. The massages at first, um, girl, the massages is no joke. Um, but they're you know you gotta get that fluid out of you, so you gotta do it. But it is the hardest part. That was the hardest part for me in the beginning. Like I was like, oh my god. But I stuck through it, you know, cause I'm a real one. Okay, and that's just a period. <laughs> period. How was it? How has it been weight wise? Like, did you lose weight after, or do you? Are you scared to lose fat? I'm 100% scared to lose fat. 100%. I'm 100% scared to lose fat. Um, So I'm consistently always feeding my fat. Avocado, eggs. Like this morning, I had eggs, spinach, avocado. Um, I eat healthy fat. I don't eat out. I don't eat at fast. I don't eat at fast food restaurants like that. I mean, I eat restaurant food when I go out. But I don't eat McDonald's. I don't. I mean, I'll eat McDonald's. But I'm just saying, I don't eat it on a regular um and stuff like that i just try to you know eat healthy meals and stuff like that um i actually don't even know how much i weigh y'all like i don't even know how much i weigh i think i weigh 160 but because i just went to the doctor but i don't think i don't know how much i weighed before i think i weigh like 170 or something i don't know how are you recovering? I'm recovering well. It's coming along. You know, results don't show for real, for real until like six months to a year. So I'm only three months post-op. Yeah. Are you still swollen? Um, I'm only swollen if I'm out of my faja for so long. My body is so used to being compressed. Like when I'm out of my faja and my palms and stuff for so long, my body just is swollen in my stomach well my stomach is swollen that's what i should say and i really have a hard time compressing my lower stomach area because if you don't have your foams and stuff and you only wear your faja um your stomach gets like indented like um the lower abdomen is like swollen will get swollen so yeah i'm still swollen but it's normal to still be swollen and stuff like when you're out of your faja i don't know how girls don't wear their faja like i'm literally in my faja 24 7 if i'm gonna take a picture or if i you know i was just in miami i was not in my faja but my stomach like burns it's like a burning sensation i don't know if i'm out of it too long it feels weird um i can't wait for that feeling to go away but yeah it's a body yaddy yaddy for me, sis. Thank you, Pooh. <laughs> Looking back, was it the was all the pain and constant compression worth it? I'm sure it is. I mean, I'm still compressing. So, I mean, it's worth it. I look in the mirror, I'm like, damn, I really look like that. that like, because I wanted hips for so long. And it's just like, oh my God, like, I finally got fucking hips. Like, what the fuck? Did you weigh more or less after surgery? I weighed more. So yeah, how do you rate your massages? From the in the beginning, the massages are literally girl. That shit is like an eight and a half. Um, but now I get massages easy, breezy. Like it feels so good, especially when I'm out of my faja, cause my sides be itching. So when she like massages my sides, it feels so good. Mm. But yeah, do you really like your results? Yes, I do like my results. I really love them. Um, I just can't wait. My stomach is still shrinking. Your my body is changing all the time. Like I feel like my ass is getting fatter. Um, but and it's still still firm. It's still firm, but it's I feel like it's still getting it's fatter. See, can you sit? So you can sit after like eight weeks, and I and I didn't sit until like two 
two months i didn't sit for t until two months but i didn't sit for a long period of time like i was due to sit but um i passed like the due date for like sitting and i was still not sitting my massage lady was like you can sit um but she was like but you can't sit for long periods of time like right now i'm on my butt pillow so if i don't have to sit um if i don't have to use my butt pillow i won't use it like i don't sleep on my butt like i don't sleep on my sides i still sleep on my stomach i just got used to it now um and uh i don't use like only if i'm out in public i don't use my butt pillow that's what i should say i don't use my butt pillow in public um because i'm not sitting for a long periods of time so <sighs> were you happy with your body before our results satisfying i was happy with my body before but i wanted it enhanced i never had hips i had an athletic body i always wanted you know m me to get my hips filled in like i hated like it was just looking weird to me that's why i had to stand certain poses in pictures and stuff like that so people think um like y'all some people think i look the same but i really don't look the same like at all like i looked at a uh before picture and i was like wow and i used to facetime face to my photos i ain't gonna lie to you but now i don't even gotta to bitch i turn around boop booty pic don't even gotta do so much period <laughs> like literally i don't that's just the t um, is, there, is your scarring still there yes um i have a lot of scarring on my back still i'm gonna show y'all um you can see right here like Ugh, these little bumps i mean now it's like a keloid like i gotta get a steroid shot in there or something and then i have two in the middle of my back that are like keloids um i need to get steroids on that because those are ugly like mm, no i don't want that but i'm trying to fade my uh, marks with this scar gel um i'll put it on the screen if i can find a picture of it and then also the ambi fade cream and a lot of cocoa butter um i don't not to put stuff on my scars so um but the ones in the front are fading away which is good but the back ones obviously i can't get to my back all the time i need somebody to put lotion on my back but i need to start getting back there do you have random phantom pain do you have any regrets no i don't ever have any random pain the only pain that i know i'm about to have is if i'm out of my faha for so long my back start burning the the front part of my stomach starts burning. Girl, it's just crazy. Like, I can't believe I still gotta go through this. Um, does your stomach hurt after all the stuffing with your faha? No. My stomach feels fine. I like being compressed because I don't feel that burning sensation when I'm out of my faha. Like, mm mm. Do you still wear your faha? Yes, all the time. Um, I've ordered so many fajas, it's ridiculous. Like, I have two on the way, two fajas on the way. But my favorite one is the Tribido faja, which I started off with. But I also like the Contour faja. The Contour faja is more stretchier than the Tribido one because the Tribido one has, like, a, co a corset in it. Um, and I'm going to show y'all when I stand up. But, um... Yeah, the contour one, it's easy for me to, well, it, it's sometimes I struggle in it to get into it by myself, but it's still easier to, for me to put on. But the Tribita one, I need somebody to help me put that one on. Um, because the corset, it just, uh, girl, I gotta, it's a struggle. Um, but yeah, I still wear my Faja, and those are the two Fajas that I've been wearing, the Contour Faja and then the Tribido Faja. I did order the high compression one, but I don't, I think my body is just not ready for that one yet. Even though I wear it, I still wear it, don't get me wrong, I still wear it, but it's not comfortable at all. Like, my first Tribido Faja was comfortable, like, I was able to wear it under my clothes, and then I got it taken in, and baby, that shit was, uh can i breathe okay but no that like this faja game is nothing to be played with okay so if you are getting your body hunt like you gotta know that you gotta be in your faja like i don't know how these girls without their faja like what are you doing like aren't you burning like what the fuck and y'all only because somebody asked how long did the swelling stay because girl that body y'all only see my swelling y'all will never see my swelling because when i'm fresh when right before i take a picture i i am like when i'm getting ready and everything like that i keep my faja on 
I keep it on, but when I'm about to take a picture, I take it right off and then put it right back on. So y'all, I'm fresh out of my faha when I take my picture. So y'all don't really see swelling. Could you work a regular job and still get surgery? Um, 100%. There's a lot of people that get surgery and still work a regular job. Like, what do you mean? Like, is that even a question? Have you gone up or down in pant size? Definitely went up. Okay. What did you eat to feed the fat? Like, a lot of protein, avocado, um, eggs, just protein shakes, stuff like that. Do you feel different like physically and mentally? It feels weird because it feels like it doesn't feel different. Like when I first seen my flat stomach, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to stomach. I'm going to sofa. But um, no, I don't feel different. Like I feel like I can wear anything that I want to. That's what I, well, not really because I still got, I still like can wear everything that I want to. But I feel more confident like, I was confident before, but I'm confident now, like, because I don't want no fupa, so I can, like, be out with my stomach out, you know? Buns out, like, come on, let's do it. One thing about me, I'm going to show that is. No, I'm just waiting. I'm kidding. How hard is it finding clothes to fit how you want them? Very difficult, especially pants, because obviously the booty and, you know, waist uh, ratio is not the same, so I always have to go get my... Uh, pants taken in which is fine I don't care because I really want it to fit really good um but yeah like the only thing that really fits really I mean even dresses I gotta get taken in because you know that extra space in the back um but yeah it's fine I just get everything tailored um now would you recommend your surgeon yes I would I would recommend my surgeon but I feel like people think he does stuff too natural um but he really shapes the body good and you will only see that result if you still go get your massages keep compressing because i'm not gonna lie to y'all i did not like my body at first i was like what is going on i wrote him in everything i was like why do i still got dip hips like what the fuck like no like but you gotta stick keep compressing and then your shape will come so, and that's just what happened with me. That was my experience. I mean, some people see results ASAP, but I didn't. I seen results, like, after a month. So, well, three weeks. Um, But, yeah, because I met my massage lady, and she was the one that was really teaching me how to compress, get my waist snatched and small, and she would use, like, the machines on me. So, really find a good massage person or whatever to help you um you know because these doctors don't tell you about you got to stay compressed you got to wear your phones you got to wear your a faha you got to wear all that they don't show you how to do it they don't tell you you need to go get a binder um if your um faha isn't fitting you correctly go get a binder like they're not telling you that the massage people are telling you that so really go invest in a good massage lady like i don't even know how much money i spent on massages because i just you know, that bitch is helping me out. My girl. She girl. My girl's helping me out. So, yes. Um, what did you tell them you wanted to look like? I just was like, I want my hips emphasized, period. And he was like, I'm going to give you as much hips as possible. And I was like, bit, Like, period. That's all I had to say. Period. And when my waist keeps getting shh, uh smaller my hips are gonna keep getting wider and i don't have no complaints on that baby like <laughs> so yeah and i love like when i walk i'm like <laughs> you know like when you would switch from side to side <laughs> can you twerk or does it still feel stiff i mean it can bounce up and down a little bit but it's still firm so i really don't be like you know Making the clap. I don't know how to twerk anyway. I need to learn. Um, once these cheeks soften up, baby, let me let me get a little one two back there. One two, one cheek up, one cheek up, one cheek down, one cheek down. Hey, let's get it. Okay, period. Like that's what I'm finna do. I'm finna, you know, send some class and I'm gonna hit up the real college sister and be like, baby. I know she said it's like in the ankles or something, cause she was teaching it on Instagram Live. But I try to do that when I didn't have my butt. So, I'm going to try it again when my body softening up, you know. <laughs> Do the niggas be calling you now? <laughs> girl. <sighs> girl. 
No, I'm just kidding. I be dry, y'all. Like, I don't got no niggas. And I didn't get this to get a nigga. Like, I didn't get this to get a nigga. I got this for me. So, uh, I really don't care if I do get a man or don't get a man. Like, it is what it is. But I didn't get it for no man. I got it for me. And do get surgery for you and how it makes you feel. Not because of what somebody else is going to make. How somebody else is going to make you feel. Because just because you got a fat ass, do not keep a nigga around. And that's just period. You don't. So, it don't make a nigga act right. How long do you keep your faha on during the day, three months later? I literally wear my faha all day. I sleep in it, wake up in it. I only take it off to take a shower or when I'm fucking. So, <laughs> I haven't tried to do it with the hoe. Like, I don't never do that. That's just nasty. How long do you have to go get massages? I'm not sure. As long as my massage lady said you get your massages, um, you keep going to get your massages, um, how little you want your waist. I think that's what she said. But massages are essential because I still, you know, get swollen. I think I have a little bit of scar tissue still in my stomach. So she's helping me, like, you know, break that down and she's working with me and contouring my body how I want to. So I'm going to give my massages for probably a year straight, like two times a week. Um, I ain't going to lie. It is expensive. It does add up. So make sure you get prepared for that. Because I know some people are like, oh, I'm three weeks. I'm feeling good. I don't need no more massages. Yes, you do. You do. But I'm not the one to tell y'all what to do. So, but yeah, that's just me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will you get another BBL? No, I feel like I won't need one. Um, I think I'll be fine. I like my shape. I like how it's coming along. Um, so I don't think so. And I don't think I wanted to go through this again. No, no, thank you. If I if I needed to, if I like you know had the first round for like foundation, and then the second round for to get the you know um, volume that I want. I feel like I would, but I have the volume that I want because I feel like I started off with, like, a good foundation. So, I really don't feel like I need to. Did you have any fibrosis? No. All my massage people were like, oh, my God, your stomach feels so good. You don't have no fibrosis. You, but I was preparing myself for the surgery. I was taking my vitamins. I was drinking green juices, like, for a month straight because I had COVID. So, I needed to get over COVID. And with that with me doing that and also at the same time that was still preparing me for my surgery i think it all that also helped me not get like fibrosis a lot of scar tissue or anything like that so make sure you go watch my video i'm gonna tag it right here um like how i got prepared for my surgery and like my green juices and stuff like that how do you properly compress okay so i wear i'm about to show y'all right now okay so i wear two foams on the side and then I have an ad board right here in the middle. And then I have a binder that holds everything together. And then I put my faha on. So that's how I compress. Did your career pressure you into getting a BBL? No. Like I said, I feel like um, I got this for me and my confidence. And I always wanted this for a long time, even before I even started like posting pictures on social media and like, you know, doing YouTube and stuff like that. I've been wanting it. So. Yeah, I got it from me, and I'm happy that I went through it. I, I still to this day, I'm like, damn, I can't believe I got my body done. Like, I can't believe it that I did this. Like, this is crazy. Did you lose weight or gain any weight post BBL? So, right before, so I was supposed to get my BBL in April, but then, you know, COVID happened and stuff like that. So, uh, quarantine, you know, people's gaining weight, including me. So, you know, I wasn't minding it. I was like, you know, I'm finna pack on for some pounds so I can, you know, get a fat ass. Did you lose any fat? I feel like I'm, okay, so I'm gonna show y'all my, well, my hips right now are 45. And the week after I got back from surgery, I measured myself and I was 45. So, um, feeding your fat must have been, feeding my fat must have benefited me because I feel like I haven't lost anything. Um, I feel like my butt still looks the same, if not bigger, um, after a while. So, but the only thing that's different is my waist is shrinking. So, I'm really happy about that. How did you get the leave from work? Okay, so basically, I didn't know this. This is another thing that I didn't know. 
the doctor will not sign your leave of absence for work, which is crazy to me. Um, because like, why is y'all not signing me so I can leave for work so I can get surgery? Like, that's crazy. So, but anyway, so I had ended up going to see my, um, I had a primary care doctor and I had an appointment with her and I told her, you know, homegirl, I'm going to surgery. So can you like write me up, uh, an excuse for me to like, um, be absent and she was like yeah girl i got you i'll sign it and i was like oh my god yes so get a primary doctor tell them you're about to go get surgery um and she worked at the hospital that i worked at so she was real cool like she was real cool she was like yeah girl i've had i've done so many people's um like you know uh pre-op for like their surgery so yeah of course and she was real she was she was fucking with it so yeah get a primary care doctor so they can sign um your uh pto stuff and like your leave and stuff like that so you'll be able to get off work um but yeah i asked for a month off <laughs> she was like okay <laughs> so yeah i don't know how people go back after week three i was uh i was still like i just didn't feel like getting up after week four, four like until like a month like i don't know how people are still like i literally don't know how people take pictures so fucking early i took like a month and like a week later to post my first picture or whatever um but people out here are taking pictures after a week i'm like girl how i don't have the energy have you had any hard lumps um post up the only hard thing that i have is right here my lower abdomen on my right side that's what we're me and my massage lady are trying to get down she thinks it's scar tissue but it's really small like it's nothing crazy but um she thinks it's just scar tissue does it feel normal to sit yet my first time sitting y'all like <laughs> it was in atlanta i was in atlanta i don't know I went to Atlanta and I was like, I'm not going to sit on my butt. Like, I'm not going to sit on it. But I don't want, then again, I don't want people thinking, oh, she kind of made me out. Like, uh. And then my friends were telling me, like, girl, it's not going to go anywhere because they already had a BBL. So I was just like, oh, well, I'm not sitting for a long time. And it's a little cushion. So, but it felt weird. Like, it still don't feel normal to sit. Like, it's just, it feels like I shouldn't be sitting. And then if I do sit for a long period of time, I'm not going to lie. My butt does start hurting. I feel like, I'm like, no, I can't. Like, when I'm going to get my hair done. I, well, normally when I go to get my hair done, I brought my butt pillow. But this past time, I had it in the car because I used it to drive. And I was sitting in a chair for a long time. I was like, oh, no. Give me my butt pillow. Like, let me go get it. Like, no. Um, did you have to relearn how to walk all that back there or not? Nah? No. <laughs> I mean, it is a little heavier, but no. Do you have any visible scars? No. Only if I wear, like, something with my back out, yes. Would you say that the surgery or the faha and the massages made your waist smaller? Definitely the massages. She does not play. And also the faha definitely does contour and does help shape your butt. So that's why they say bending your faha is so important because it's going to help shape you. It's like basically waist training, but like help lifting your butt in the back. So, um, yeah, it does help. Tell us your doctor. Love you. I been said who my doctor was. My doctor is Dr. Williams at 305 Plastic Surgery. He is booked and busy. He is booked until 2022, bitch. 2022. Like, he... But I love that he shapes the body. Like, he may tell you, like, oh, I can't give you a lot of ass because you don't have stretchy skin. Or something like that. He may say something like that. He didn't say that nothing like that to me. He just was like, I'm going to put more volume and give you as much hips as possible. I'm like, okay. But I do have uh, stretchy skin. So, but he really shapes the body really good. Like, at the end of the day, you're going to have hips. And then, people, you may not see it ASAP. But if you keep compressing and wear your faha, you're going to look so good. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. You're like, dude hey babe can we get a list of supplies or pre post op so basically you're gonna need a urinal they give you a faha um beet juice 
you're going to need um pineapple juice pee pads what else do i need dial soap that's it that's really all i use um a robe foams that's really it i don't know why people go through all these lists of stuff that they need um i didn't even use that much stuff y'all like i didn't use no you don't need no diaper you don't need none of that don't get that because you're not gonna need it and again you don't want to wear a diaper anyway because it's gonna increase your butt so don't do it have you just drove the new booty yes i'm in your business <laughs> You in my business? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I just said that in the beginning. <laughs> How did it feel to actually sit on your butt for the first time? Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, when I if I do sit on my butt for a long period of time, I'm so paranoid, y'all. I literally get on my um, tape measure and I'm like, is it still there? Is it still there? Like, let me make sure. Because I'm so paranoid. I do not want my butt to go down. I don't want no dance. I don't want no nothing. But nothing happens because I don't sit that long. And I just ordered a new BBL pillow. I ordered the circle one that you sit on. This one that I have right now. Um, let me show y'all. This is the one. You can see where I sit. I literally sit my thighs right here. And then my butt just hangs at the end. So, yeah. Does it look natural to you? I feel like it does to a certain extent just because my thighs were already big. So, you know how some people get a fat ass booty and, you know, they leg skinny. I had thick thighs already, so it looks good. I love asking these sex questions like, damn. Has it affected your sex life? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a good view back there. I'm, I know it is. There ain't no if, ands, or buts. I know it is. Camera Zion. So, will you get anything else done? I low key want to get my boobs done. I'm not even going to lie to you. I do. Um, but my camera is going to die. So, yeah, that's the last question. And I'm about to show y'all my Faha. Me without my foams and stuff. And my Faha just so y'all can see my body. And I'm going to put some pants on too, just so y'all can see how the ass looking. My favorite leggings. Well, and my favorite attire, which is skins. So, well, if you have seen my skins video, you've probably seen it. But anyway, so let me just charge my camera real quick and I'm going to come back. And yeah, show so, this is me and my Tribido Faha. Um, let me turn it this way so y'all can see. So, this is me, three months post up. I meant to say that I can get in this faha without um, foams and stuff on by myself. But I am on the second loop. But y'all, look at how they are breaking. Like, this is the only thing I don't like about this faha. Like, it's so hard to get in. So, sometimes the hooks will break and stuff like that. So, I can breathe and talk and everything. But, yeah, but um, I like to go to sleep in this one. So, I wake up snatched. But yeah, and this is the one that I normally wear under my clothes because um, the other one is a little bit more loose. And that's the one I wear my foams and my, uh, what is it, ad board. But it's not that loose. It's just looser than this. That's what I meant to say. Um, because you don't want your fire to be so loose because it can build fluid and stuff. So, but yeah, this is three months. Like I said, it's still firm. Like the bottom part is, you know, jiggly, but yeah. But yeah, like I said, I love my results. I'm maintaining everything. This is a lifestyle, a whole different lifestyle change. So yeah, girl. But I'm gonna show y'all how it looks when I put pants on. Hold on, what's this? Hips, rounds, we love that booty is a peach baby <laughs> but yeah this i love it and then when i put my shirt on girl i'll be snatched for the gauze okay so a lot of people think my booty is a shelf but i like it i don't i personally like it so but yeah i love my results can't wait till my new Faha comes. So, yeah.
But yeah, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And do not forget to click the link down below in the description box so y'all can get the inside scoop on all the weekly deals at school on all the weekly deals that's going on all month with jbw and don't forget to get this watch and you can use code kyra 30 for 30 dollars off so yeah y'all i love y'all so much i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see y'all in the next video bye girl girl <laughs>